Hi, welcome to this next SCBA reflection. I bring all the greetings of the team from Colin, Claire, from Amy, from Dave, from Alison, but also from Joy, our new safeguarding advisor as well. Welcome Joy to SCBA. And if I haven't had the opportunity to say this to you, a happy new year to each and every one of you. May you know God's blessing and guidance throughout 2021. I brought you up here, it's rather bitter and cold actually, but this is a high point uh, near my home, just 10 minutes away. And it's a place I love to come because you can look right across uh, what is called the Itchin Valley. Uh, you can see Eastley beyond, uh, this is the village of Fair Oak just behind me where, where I live. But as you get further south you can go down towards Southampton Airport, you can see the airport over there. Uh, and also the Aegeus Bowl, and even on a really good day, on a clear day, you can actually see parts of the Isle of Wight. It's a great place to walk, it's a great place to reflect, it's also a great place to pray. And it's a place that often I used to come up here with my dog when I was the minister at Eastley Baptist Church, and it reminded me, you know, my, my role was not just to pastor a church, but to pastor a community, and to care for those that don't yet know the love of Jesus Christ and are seeking to follow him. I think it's very easy, and particularly in the times that we've had, for us to lose sight of those that don't know Jesus. I was in a meeting just recently of our mission development group and I was so encouraged by the, the great stories that I was being told by those people in the room about how churches have been busy doing mission. So I wanted to bring you up here so we could look at the horizon and just think for a moment or two about the horizon and what may be in the distance. Tomorrow is over there in a sense and we don't know quite what tomorrow will bring but I think it's healthy and good from time to time as leaders of churches to stop and say God what are you saying about tomorrow? I think there's two things that are really important for us at this moment to consider and the first one is to really consider ourselves and how we are doing in this moment and how God might restore, restore our strength ready for leadership in the future and I know Dave Llewellyn did a great reflection just a few weeks ago about that very subject about how are we doing and I would encourage you if you've not heard that reflection to to go back and and listen to what Dave has to say and to actually spend some time reflecting on how are you doing and in fact at our leaders conference uh, next week we'll be doing very much some of that thinking about our own emotional stability and how God can restore us and actually as we move forward in the next few months at SCBA we we'll want to offer some opportunities for you to do some more work around that but I also want to encourage you to have a partial eye on the horizon that if, you've, if you have the strength and the ability to actually come and look at the distance and, and ask this question of God, what, what is there on the, the horizon? And I don't want to suggest that I know what's on the horizon because I, I haven't got a clue, but we will enter into a new season. As we come out of this kind of winter into spring and summer, there will be a new season ahead of us. And I wonder what is on the horizon for you. I wonder what God might be saying to us as a church together. And I want to share a couple of things, and I'm not saying these are definite, but I think these are things worth considering, that at this point we should consider stopping and thinking and praying about and saying, God, are you saying something to us about this for the season that is to come, for the tomorrow that is to come? And the first one is this. As we have struggled with our mental health, so have so many other people across our society and in our communities. And one of the reasons that we need to take care of ourselves is so that we are ready to take care of others. And we may already be doing that to some extent, but I think the opportunities for us to care for those who are beyond the church with the love of Christ is coming. And I think that might be something that's out there on the horizon 
that may be coming our way. And maybe it's something we need to stop and consider and think, how, Lord, can we bring your grace? How can we bring your mercy? How can we bring your healing power into people's lives who have been so affected mentally by this pandemic? The second thing I, I see, I glimpse out there and, you know, reflect on this and think about it is the need to grieve. A time for mourning is coming. Oh, we lost a good friend to COVID early on in the first wave, Lisa. I've yet to have the opportunity to give thanks to God for Lisa, because I, I want to give thanks to God, to God for Lisa, but also to grieve with others, to share with others in that moment of bereavement, to mourn her passing, to mourn her loss. And many people in society are in that position. And I believe many people will be looking for an opportunity to mourn, to cry with each other, to hold each other. We haven't been able to hug each other, but to hold each other and to note that moment of loss. But also to give thanks and to celebrate someone's life. And maybe, maybe out there God is preparing us as church to offer that opportunity not just to our churches and those who are members, but to our communities, to those who are looking for a way to mark the loss of someone that they loved. So I think that's the second thing that is on the horizon. And, and the third thing that's out there, and I've just got three, so this is the last one, is I think people are gonna have a whole load of questions about life, about its purpose, about where they fit into a life uh, and, and how do they answer some of those big questions. It's great to hear that Alpha actually has been going so well online for so many churches. And I think that opportunity for people to come together, either online or even face to face, to share, to ponder, to consider what has happened and taken place and to begin to ask some of those huge, massive, important, crucial questions, particularly that question of where is Jesus in all this, is absolutely vital. And perhaps that's something that's out there on the horizon, that as leaders, as we consider ourselves, but also consider what God may be doing for the future, what is God saying to us, his people, and how is he preparing us for that moment, to be ready not just to serve each other, but to serve our communities, to serve the cities, the towns, the villages in which God has called us. May God bless you, continue to strengthen you, bring um, a reassurance in your heart and your life, uh, bring you close to him, but as he does so, as you care for yourself, care for your soul, care for the others that are within your church, may you also, in the right time, lift up our eyes to see what is beyond, to see what is next to come and may we be ready for it in our hearts, our lives but also in our churches together. God bless you and God go with you.